It's wonderful to see you again, O'Doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to take an even deeper dive into subcontracting. So previously, we discussed basic subcontracting, in which a subcontractor is going to be responsible for obtaining the components used for manufacturing a subcontracted product. But what about situations where you want to supply a subcontractor with the components yourself? Well, that's the best thing about Odoo. We offer two routes to accomplish that. Resupply a subcontractor on order and drop ship subcontractor on order. So inside of this video, we're gonna be discussing the resupply subcontractor on order route, in which we send components from our warehouses directly to the subcontractor. Now this differs from the drop ship subcontractor on order route, in which components are drop shipped from a vendor directly over to a subcontractor. Resupplying a subcontractor from our own warehouse allows us to outsource the manufacturing of certain products, while still having control over the inventory counts of the components needed for subcontracting. So, let's not waste any more time and jump right into the Odo platform to see how it all works. Alright, in this video we're going to be using the resupply subcontractor and order route to manufacture one unit of our unicycle product. So, let's begin by seeing how I've configured the product and its components to use that route. Now, since I've already covered all of the general subcontracting settings in the basic subcontracting video, this video will only cover the settings specific to products that use the resupply subcontractor on order route. If you haven't already watched the basic subcontracting video, be sure to do that before we continue. It's gonna save you some time. I'm gonna link it below. Now let's click into the inventory application over here. We're gonna select products and products, a familiar dance. And we're gonna open up in our case, our unicycle, if I can spell properly today, our unicycle, unicycle. So inside of here, I need to click on the bill of material smart button up at the top because that's going to take me where I need to. And I'm going to select the product and remember how we didn't list any components on the bomb for the product in our basic subcontracting video. Well, while using resupply subcontractor on order, we do need to specify the product's components, which you see down here in the components tab, just so that Odoo knows what we need to send to the subcontractor. If you don't do that, what are we going to send? As you can see, the components tab over here already has a requirement of a frame and a unicycle wheel. It's just two components right there. Now this is what we're gonna send to the subcontractor after confirming a purchase order for this product. Now, once we're done, I'm actually going to go over to the unicycle frames product page just by selecting our nice little internal link just to show you how I've configured both of the components for this product. So inside of here, if we take a quick look, we're at our components product page but I want the inventory tab over here. Now, again, I talked about routes and here we have it. Resupply subcontractor and order right there. You can see that this is the operation that we would like to use. Now with this route enabled, a resupply subcontractor order will be created to send this component to the subcontractor each time that a purchase order for the unicycle is confirmed. All right, I've already configured our other component in the same way, so I don't think I need to go show that which means everything is configured the way that we want and we can move on to subcontracting our unicycle. So the process starts when we confirm a purchase order or PO for my acronym lovers to buy the subcontracted product from the subcontractor. So to do so, let's head back to our main dashboard over here and we're gonna open our purchase app. Now I'm typing again. And select new in the top left corner. We gotta start with our vendor. So who is the subcontractor that we want in this case? We're gonna pick bike friends these are always very legitimate companies by the way so then on the products page i'm going to click on the add a product right there and we're going to start typing in for our unicycle let it fill it out and we're great we're perfect now all i need to do is confirm this order and that's the order of the unicycle from bike friends so once i click it you'll notice we have two smart buttons up at the top resupply and receipt the resupply smart button opens the resupply subcontractor order which we will confirm once the unicycle's components have been sent to the subcontractor. The receipt button, on the other hand, opens the order's receipt, which we will confirm once we have received the manufactured unicycles. So let's start by selecting the resupply smart button up at the top to open up our resupply subcontractor order. Here, we can see that Bike Friends is listed as the delivery address over there, and both the unicycle's components are listed in the operations tab. This means we will ship all of these components to Bike Friends. So once that we ship them, I just need to click on the validate button up at the top just to confirm that the components have been sent. And once that's done, I can return to the PO by selecting the source PO smart button up at the top. So, all right, 
it's time for us to process this. Let's say, I don't know, a week has passed and the subcontractor has manufactured our unicycle. It takes that long and they've shipped it back to us. So now all we need to do to process the receipt in which we will enter the unicycle into inventory. I can open the receipt by clicking on the receipt smart button up at the top as well, or the receive products button over here. We're gonna do that because it seems easier. It saves the screen time. So on the receipt, all I need to do is click validate right there. And the unicycle is entered into our inventory. There you go. It's really that simple. Well, folks, that's it for today. You now know how to subcontract a product using the resupply subcontractor on order route. Stay tuned for more subcontracting videos, and I'll see you next time. Go grab a snack. I actually have some today. Chili lime.